Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and get a message for those of you that are dealing with a Sagittarius for the first half of June. Now, this is a general message. This is not a personal message. Okay, so just take the parts that resonate, Virgos, and leave the rest. Now, cross watchers, if you are in here, you are welcome. Okay, now me reading, this is a Virgo channel. Okay. No matter how much the readings may resonate with you, I always read like I'm reading for the Virgo. So if you are in here, feel free to stay and feel free to flip the message. But what you do not need to do is to write down in the comments that it's the Virgo that is this and it's the Virgo that is that. I really don't care, to be honest. I'm just here to deliver the message. So again, cross watchers, flip it if necessary, okay? If it's the Virgo that did it to you, then it's the Virgo that did it to you. <laughs> All right. Give me a message from my Virgo dealing with a Sagittarius. What do we have? Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy? For the collective. Virgo dealing with a Sag. <clears throat> oh, for some of you, there's no communication, for starters. <laughs> Hold your vision. Okay. So somebody here isn't letting go. <laughs> We're going forward. What is the message? My Virgo is dealing with a Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. And you have the answers you need are coming. At the bottom of the deck, you have emotions are running high. So somebody still has their eye on someone here. Okay? Not able to let go of the situation. Someone here is in their feelings. Whether it's you or the Sagittarius. Whatever. So for those of you that are dealing with romance, where well, this is a romantic situation, which is not going to be for all. This is a general reading. For some of you, this may be a family member, a friend, a co-worker. Take it how it resonates, okay? Hold your vision. Why is it here? Hold your vision. Come on, Virgo's dealing with a Sagittarius. Coming out sideways. Worth waiting for, says divine timing is at work in your love life. Again, the energy of somebody here still holding on. Probably waiting for you to reach out, Virgo. The answers you need are coming. Oh, we have wedding flipping out here. It says a situation involves marriage. Okay. So again, with that card, you know, some of you could be married to this person. I am actually hearing engaged. So I don't know if some of you are engaged to this Sagittarius or there was talk of marriage or this person wants to come in with some kind of proposal here. But we'll see why it's here. Let's see the journey card. So there could be distance between you and this Sagittarius. Again, this energy of somebody maybe wanting to travel towards you. shuffle what is this hold your vision and work waiting for oh, why is it here okay wow <laughs> yeah marriage again i mean in that song um go into the chapel and we're gonna get married Oh, so I don't know. Some of you, I don't know. Was there some kind of a pause on some kind of wedding plans? The answers you need to come in. Oh, thief and main male wanted to flip over. Are some of you finding out that your person is actually married or in another situation with a thief card? Some of you feeling like you wasted your time. I don't know. What is this wedding and the answers you need are coming? I'm a Virgo dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, now we've got two again. We've got courtship and wealthy man. So some of you dealing with somebody who's financially stable. Courtship and wedding. Let me get some cards, cause I'm 
My Virgo is dealing with a Sagittarius. What's the energy spirit? Hold your vision. Why is it clear? Show me. Thank you. The world cards. So this may be somebody that you've already ended things with, right? For some of you. But again, this is somebody who hasn't let go of this situation, who's one in another cycle here. I'm hearing begin again. <laughs> Reminds me of a kid's song. Why is the world card here? I want to begin again. Why is the world card here for hold your vision? Oh, the five of wands. So there was some kind of conflict here. Right? The five of wands, it talks about arguments. It talks about conflict. It talks about fighting. Um, it talks about too many people involved here. So you may have had some kind of argument with this person, um, at, which caused some kind of separation, right? Why is the world card here? Why is the world card here for my Virgos dealing with a Sagittarius? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, the Nine of Cups in reverse. Someone here is not happy. I'm also hearing that maybe a Sagittarius here, Virgo, that maybe kind of feels a little bit um, emotionally empty without you. Or maybe since you walked away, there's just a, a kind of feeling of absence here. It kind of feels empty. Hmm. Maybe this person has been getting into arguments and fights um, since you um, parted here. We have the Eight of Pentacles coming out sideways. Eight of Pentacles is my hard working card, right? I don't know, Virgos, if you just kind of have your head down working, doing your own thing, and this is causing some kind of conflict within this person, right? Or making them act out a certain way. But what is the World card and the Nine of Cups in reverse? What is the World card and the Nine of Cups in reverse? Thank you, show me. What is the energy? Oh, do it, excuse my stomach, you can hear it. Oh. No behavior. Queen of Wands. Oh. Yeah, so you're not you're not underestimating yourself here, right? You ain't lowering your standards. It's, you're moving forward confidently, and I feel like this is upsetting this person that you are standing in your power. I mean, it could be this Sagittarius, right? Because we do have the Queen of Wands here. Maybe some of you Virgos are dealing with a feminine fire sign. It doesn't always have to be a masculine if you are a female, right? This is a general reading. What is the Queen of Wands? Or somebody's just seeing you as very attractive. The hanged man. Yes, yeah, somebody here is stuck. Stuck, but seeing something from a different perspective. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's since you cut this person out. Always the way, right? What is the Queen of Wands and the hanged man? Oh, the Empress. So somebody's seeing your worth. Now, for some of you, right, you guys know your story. This may be for some of you that there was an end in here because of a third party situation. Sometimes the Queen of Wands can be seen as the other woman. Maybe somebody went after someone for what they look like. But that's not going to be for everyone. What is the Five of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles? Five of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Thank you. The Six of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles and the Two of Wands? So for some of you, this Sagittarius may be worried that you may um, invest in someone else or... It's giving me the Seven of Pentacles. It talks about investing. There may be some arguments here over money. Again, for some of you, this may be your husband with the King of Pentacles coming out here. I feel like there's some arguments here over money. Two of Wands talks about making a decision. I don't know. Someone may want to come towards you here. But they may feel like you have your defenses up, number one. Six of 
Six of Pentacles can talk about equal give and take. I don't know if somebody wants to gift you something with the Six of Pentacles. What is the answers you need to come in on this marriage card? Wealthy man, yeah, you may be dealing with somebody who is wealthy, or maybe you're the wealthy one, Virgo. King of Swords, so he really wants to come out. He's been trying. <laughs> that gives me energy of somebody trying to strategize something. What is this King of Swords? Somebody in deep thoughts. Yeah, of how to come towards you and give you some kind of offer here with that Knight of Cups. Somebody here is definitely really wanting um, whatever you guys' relationship at, especially if there's no communication here, right, or you guys just ain't seeing eye to eye. Somebody really wants things to move on from the level that they're on right now. They want things to move forward. But very much trying to strategize of how to do that. Someone here is in deep thoughts. The six of swords of how to move forward, how to move to karma waters here with you. Yeah, I'm hearing, <laughs> I'm hearing since you being gone. <laughs> so I don't know. What is the Knight of Cups? Some of Virgo's dealing with a Sagittarius, thank you. Now the King of Swords is also screaming at me the truth. The truth. I don't know if somebody's thinking about telling you some kind of truth here. This could just be a communication, right? But with the Six of Swords and the sword that the King has, it brings me to the Seven of Swords. So there was some kind of deception here. Some kind of lie, some kind of cheating, some, some kind of underhanded behavior. <clears throat> All right, my throat is going. So this could even be something that someone said, right? Maybe they're regretting something they said. What is a Knight of Cups? Yeah, I see that Three of Cups. Reunited and it feels so good. Somebody misses your energy. The Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Now the Ten of Pentacles talks about stability. It talks about legacy. Something sees you as their everything. Because I'm hearing the song. I, ah, don't quote me. I don't know. It may be Lionel Richie that sings it. But I'm hearing you are my destiny. Ah, oh, you are my one and only. You bring great joy to me. I don't know the rest. <laughs> Where's the King of Swords and the Seven of... Where's the King of Swords and the Seven of Swords? See? What is the King of Swords and the Six of Swords? Thank you, Spirit, show me. What is the King of Swords and the Seven of Swords? Oh, you got the Six of Wands in reverse. So this person feels like there won't be no victory here for them. And now I'm also seeing this as, I don't know, Virgos, maybe you are having some kind of victory yourself, right? Maybe you are being recognized by the public or something like that. But even if you are, you have your back turned to this person. It's giving me this energy of it's giving me this energy of this person feels like you feel like they're not important. What is the six of wands in reverse? My Virgo is dealing with a Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. and stop yeah reconciliation judgment six of wands in reverse for some of you they feel like you've made a final decision ten of swords they feel like you made a final decision and the justice card ten of swords talks about a betrayal it talks about an ending. It talks about somebody's had enough. But then you have the justice card coming out here. Them wanting to come in and balance the scales. Now it could be that they're feeling in this energy of the Ten of Swords. Uh, but overall I feel like they want to solve this. Page of Cups, there's the apology. 
Why? Because of the Sun card. Happiness. The Fool card. They want to take a risk. They want to take that leap of faith. They want that brand new journey. But for some of you, they're not really saying anything. They're not moving with that offer. They're holding it here. And because of the Nine of Wands, this is my Wounded Warrior card. This is me feeling down and out, almost feeling depleted. Don't know if I can carry on. Can I get back up? And it's almost like with them in that energy and you in this energy, Virgo. How do they come to someone in this energy when they are feeling like that? But you have the two of cups here. For some of you, they're realizing that they have feelings here, right? They want to invest in this situation here. Why? Because you show them love and kindness. But when a Virgo removes that energy, cuts off communication, cuts them out, leaves somebody in the Three of Swords energy. So let's get some advice. What do I want to use? Oh, love and light. Yeah, let's use the love and light and get a message for my Virgos that are dealing with these Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here? My Virgos dealing with a Sag. Now, guys, if anything in this reading did resonate with you, do hit that thumbs up for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Thank you to those who have reached out for personal readings, who have donated to the channel. Anybody that is interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. All right, give me a message. My God goes in with Sagittarius. Getting stuck. Use loving strength and discernment. It says, I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of God. If pleasing people were my goal, I would not be Christ's servant. So I've read this. I read this not too long ago. So maybe this is why Virgos, why you kind of turned your back. I don't know if this person is surprised that you cut them out or whatever the case may be. But it's because a lot of you are in this energy where, hey... Like it says, I'm not here to please people. I'm not here to make people feel better about themselves. If somebody crosses a line, then I'm out of there. Why? Because I know my worth. We have the Empress out here. We have the Queen of Wands out here. I know my worth and I'm confident enough to turn my back and something here if it's not emotionally fulfilling for me. And to move on. And someone can't comprehend how you did that. How did Virgo just walk away like that? Like they cannot comprehend. <laughs> the devil, for some of you, it's too much of a burden for them. For some of you, they are constantly thinking about this. Almost feels like the energy of obsession. Now, for some of you, it could be that they are realizing with the Ten of Wands and the Devil here that, hey, if you're going to deal with Virgo, you've got to come correct, number one. You leave all that devilish shit at the door. Somebody here may be realizing, hey, that toxic ways or toxic behavior doesn't get you anywhere with certain people. So my Virgos, all my cross watchers, <laughs> that is what I have for you. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, guys, stay safe, love and light.